And there we have it, the last load of stuff off of Lealea, including the fuel tank. Looks small out here, 13 gallon fuel tank. Anyway, now it's starting to rain. We're in Petersburg. Okay, we can push this up the ramp. We'll be good. Gotta run. doing here spiling we're gonna spiling they call it they tell me that's what they tell me they call it we're marking this so that we can make a closer fit when we cut out the new piece we use all this for patterns these pieces here are so when we we're gonna lay everything out flat for the new entryway because we're gonna redo the entire thing we're gonna make a new entryway here we want this all so that we can lay it out exactly the way it came out of the boat and make a new pattern. So that's what we're doing. We've screwed these pieces of door skin to the bulkhead and marked them uh, and used the screws to create locating holes. So what we're going to do is take this out, take it all back to Andy's shop, and then Andy will put, it, put this all back together the way it is, lay it out flat, and cut out the new pieces. So that's what we got going on next. But Andy's busy on another boat building job right now, so we have to wait. And also Laura's up in Cordova, working with the veterinary clinic up there for a week. So we're just getting this stuff ready. And then when Laura gets back and Andy gets free from his other job, and Chris becomes available, we'll pull this out and take it over to his shop and fabricate the new bulkhead. And that's what we got going on. This is today's project. We had these ready-made teak pieces on the boat. They've been on the boat for quite a while. That one there had uh, two fire extinguishers and our log book in it. And was secured in the main cabin to the main bulkhead forward. And then these two bookshelves were in the uh, V-berth area. So that's the first coat of uh, varnish. And we're using the same satin finish urethane that we used before. Now this is teak. It is the only teak on the interior of the boat. And it doesn't need staining. I mean, it may not quite match the, uh, the sapili that we're using. But as old Frank Adams always said, if you want it to match, paint it. So different pieces of wood, even of the same species, even from the same tree, can be different colors and have different grain but that's the beauty of it so these will get uh, at least two more coats of varnish the second one we'll try to do this afternoon or this evening hey Tom what did we accomplish today we got the uh, got the last coat on here on these yeah. the last coat of um, primer sealer penetrating epoxy resin, resin yeah. yeah got the first coat of epoxy resin on these two. Um, yeah, on the two big. Uh, but it looks like I skipped a spot up there. Look at that white spot. Uh oh. That's okay. That's why we put three coats on. That looks a little thin, that one does. Hmm. But we also got the third coat of varnish on these uh, teak racks. They're looking hmm? pretty good. Yeah. It's been raining the last couple of days, so we've been. Uh, just trying to get as much done indoors here as we can. The boat is cold and damp and but we got some cleaning done and we got some of the bulkheads out so we have more work to do but we've made a lot of progress so far this week, huh Tom? That's right, that's right. We've got a lot 
more to do. Yeah, a lot more to do, yeah. I will. A couple more coats on here. A couple more coats of varnish on the teak. And then you're going to paint. And then paint. Then it's white paint on these pieces over here. These are going to get uh, two or three coats of uh, white enamel. The, the flip side of these, I've already, I've already got three uh, coats of epoxy on them, and right. they're going to be painted white. The others, one side. Yeah, both sides are going to, no, both sides of that, those are going to be painted white. Those are the, uh, the stern bulkheads that separate the galley from the cockpit lockers and also stiffen that after portion of the, of the hull. So, um, yeah, th those are going to get painted white on both sides. That, that brightens things up over in the galley area. Yeah, and also in the cockpit locker. Yeah. So Tom flew out a couple of days ago. I just got back from Cordova yesterday. Yeah, Tom flew out on Saturday and uh, he came back on Monday or Sunday. 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 Today's... Where are we at, Chuck? Um, <laughs> well, the continuing saga of laying coatings on plywood. Um, I'm afraid it's not very exciting. I mean, well, it is exciting when you get to the third coat of white paint. And the piece is done. And the piece, and is, the piece done. is done. And then you flip it over and you have you three have more coats. Yeah, so that's what's going on over here. On, uh, so we're almost done with these pieces. We're, we're almost done. Uh, one more coat of white paint on those, and then those are ready to go back in the boat. Woohoo! We get to start putting stuff back that's in. That's right. And one more oh, coat right. on uh, this. These <laughs> need two more coats uh, on these two pieces, the two bulkheads over here. So the two bulkheads over on that side, they just got their uh, first coat on the reverse side. They've got three coats on the front side. Now they get three coats on the back side. Two more coats. They will be done. And yeah. those will be ready to go back in the boat. Yeah. Yay! Yeah, you made a little boo-boo on the one on the corner. You forgot you were fiberglass. Yeah, the other side, well, we, did the, we got all excited about laying paint on the other <laughs> side. You know how exciting it can be, laying paint. Uh, coat after coat after coat on piece after piece after piece. Yeah. Um, so anyway, we got to this and we got so excited that we just kept laying paint all the way down to the edge on the other side, forgetting that you're going to be fiberglass. We're going to be in. we're going to be epoxying it in. So we wanted to leave the berry berry epoxy primer. Oh, no wow. problem. We'll just sand the paint down. Yeah. It'll be fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. Honest. Okay. And you're going to so put. I'm going to put another coat of varnish on this right now. And, um, so what else are we up to today? Well, we have to, um, I'll tell you what, you turn the truck around so I can use the tailgate for a workbench, and then I will take these two pieces over here on your, uh, left, on your left, on my right. On your right. <laughs> I take those two pieces out there and hit them real quick with the, uh, uh, sander with 220 grit sandpaper in them. And then I'll put the third and final coat of white paint on those. Um, well, you put another coat, of, another coat varnish of varnish on those, and then we have those those teak uh, racks also. Yeah, you and Tom those can got get one or two coats on. Uh, those. I think Tom got the third coat on, but oh, you know we want to put three coats. Yeah, we'll uh, put another couple coat. more coats. They'll look yeah. better. Yeah. More the better, and we don't have anything else that we can really do this afternoon. <laughs> Unfortunately, not. So it's, yeah, it's raining. Well, okay then? Pitter patter. Yeah, move the truck. Okay. <laughs> All right, now. Let's go see if I can edit this into something worth watching. Well, here's one of the much talked about uh, new trash cans. Based on old uh, canned salmon labels. Pretty cool for the tourists, eh? Everybody's talking about it around town. Mm -hmm.